Well, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. So today on the channel, we are back at my buddy Zach's uncle's house for another mother load trip of cherry and locust. Stick around. So a couple months ago, I'd say August of 2023, I got a phone call from my buddy Zach. Um, his uncle just purchased his property and built a beautiful house. And he had a bunch of trees taken out and they were all cherry and locust, which is just perfect firewood. And he asked if I wanted to come get some. And before I had to come in over here on his new driveway and then drive down here on this hill and I had to you know, work this hill. But now I had to come in on this other side over here. I might take a video of that when I come back with my trailer. Today, I'm just gonna primarily be focusing on getting some of this cut up. We have to pay a toll to take my trailer across the bridge. And uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough stuff cut up for a full load. And I really didn't wanna leave my trailer here because I don't know when the next time I can come up here. But at least if I get some of it cut up, um, I can come back next time and I know I'll have a full load. Even though I'm pretty sure I'll have a full load today. Just don't know how much time I, uh, I'm gonna have. I could be working tonight, I uh, haven't got a call yet, so that's kind of why I'm just playing it by ear for now. So let's get our safety gear on, our chaps, our hearing protection, and our gloves, and get into this massive pile of cherry and locust. Oh, my God. 
here's about 40 minutes of cutting. There's a good chunk here. I probably got, I don't know, two or three feet into this pile. There's a lot of wood here. Um, just looking at it, I'm gonna say there's probably, I don't know, there's probably two and a half, three cord here, maybe more. There, there, there's actually probably more. There's probably three or four cord here. But this is all like perfect, perfect firewood. And this will be my personal heat. But man, look at this stuff. Ooh, the threatening furry vine. I'll have to make sure I steer clear of that. I don't want to end up looking like the fly, like uh, Mr. Brad over at Firewood at the Furnace. But here we go. I got to put some fuel in the saw and uh, get back to work. I know I'm not getting through this today, but let's see if I can at least get another uh, four or five feet into this. Here we go. there is an absolute ton of wood here as you can see there's still a good bit here I'd say I'd almost got halfway through this little over I don't know almost half a little under half but that's what we got cut up back here that's probably that'll probably fill my dump trailer up I'm exhausted <laughs> I worked all night took a two-hour nap and came out here now, now that I'm tired, I'm gonna go home and take a nap. I did get that text, I gotta work tonight. So we'll come back and tackle some of this. And you can see there's some more stuff up here on the hill that we could play with also. All right, well, today is tomorrow. We got some of this to load up. We got the dump trailer back. And if I feel like it, I might end up cutting a little bit more.
Well, the trailer is full. I kind of guesstimated that uh, trailer load spot on. I mean, there's a little bit more I could put in here, but uh, I did pretty good just guesstimating. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take care of each other, and I will see you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. See ya.